Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. Send for thy spirit, and we shall be created. Let us pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant them by the gifts of the same Spirit, who may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, once again, you are all welcome to this home, to this place of hope. The Lord is our refuge and strength in good times and especially in bad times. So when the Israelites suffered exile, even though they suffered that exile due to their sins, due to their sins, many prophets warned them that the day of doom will come if they do not change their ways. But man, as man is, will continue in his way. So the Israelites continued that way, and so they were thrown into exile, into Babylon. But even when they came back, they were not too sure, they were not too hopeful. And then again, the different prophets started to exhort them to a life of hope, to hope in the Lord. So today, through the prophet Ezekiel, the Lord says, Every tree of the field will learn that I, the Lord, am the one who stunts tall trees and makes the low ones grow. Ezekiel 17, 24. Of course, the Lord indeed raises the lowly and brings down the proud and the mighty people. Hmm? The Lord exhausts the lowly and brings down the mighty. Hello. Tim Sufu Yesu Christo. Mileli na minele amina. Have you heard that expression before? He brings down the lowly and raises the poor. Have you heard it before? He brings down the lowly and exhort, raises the poor. That is the song, the Magnificat of our Blessed Mother Mary that she sang when she was told she will be the mother of God, the mother of God. So he raises the poor, the lowly, seemingly the hopeless, to restore their hope. Of course, the Lord indeed raises the lowly and brings down the mighty and the, and the proud. This is the kind of message of hope that each and every one in countries in Africa, most especially in African countries, that we need right now. Because inflation is so high, the high cost of living, many countries are taxing the people. Hmm? So, you too, uh, you have to pay your tax. Hello? You have to pay your tax. You have to even get start working now. Even if you don't work, you have to pay tax. Is that not true? Yeah, even if you're not working. So where do I get the money from? Do I go to steal? How can I pay tax when I'm not working? God save us. No wonder many of our people are looking for greener pasture. Go to America, go to Europe, go to some other uh, African countries that seem to be making it. Anyway, I'm in Kenya. Maybe that's why I'm in Kenya. But the prophet today raises the hope of the people about what God can do. What God can do. And in fact, what God is already doing. Our Lord indeed can do it, as he has said. Because why can God do it? Why? It's God the whole world. It is the God the whole world.
That is why we are not afraid. Even when it's so difficult, as if, as if we should be afraid. No, we are not afraid. That's um, 24, 1 to 2. The Lord has got the whole world in his hand. So we are in him because he's the creator of heaven and earth. And more so, he created us in his image and likeness. And he says, you are my people, I am your God. You are my people, I am your God. You are my people, close to my heart. Amen. Amen. You are my people, I am your God. God cannot desert us. Yes, he allows tough times. For us to even know that we shouldn't depend on man. He said, woe to he that depends on princes. Woe to them. But of course, because they will die. Because they are mortal. Because they can make promises and fail. Because they go to bed and sleep. But our God does not sleep. Hello? Does your God sleep? Our God does not sleep. Tim Sufi is a Christian. According to our gospel reading of today, night and day while he sleeps, he is awake. The seed is sprouting and growing. How? He does not know. That's man in his effort. Man making effort. You know? In other words, the Lord God is in control of all things in the world. Those of you, of course, I see many of you are fathers, I mean, in terms of even those who own, the, who have, who own gardens. And you go to plant things. That's your control by watering it, and you go to bed. But other conditions are to be made come true by God. And you believe, you have faith that God is going to do that. So night and day, man does his own, but God, who does not sleep, is the one in control. In other words, the Lord God is in control of all things in the world. He is the one in charge of everything and of all things. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. That's what the Lord Jesus tells us in the book of Revelation. I have reason. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The Lord is the one who takes charge of things in the world quietly and silently. Aware of this awesome presence and control of God in the world, we are not afraid to embrace all that we see in the world. We are not afraid. Things come. We are not afraid. Because God is in charge of us. So we're not afraid, St. Paul says, of good times and bad times. We're not afraid. Because he's got the whole world in his hands. So St. Paul says, so we make it our goal to please God. We make it our goal to please God. Whether we are at home, in the body or away from it. We do all we can to please God. So my dear sisters and brothers, we are people of hope. We are not to allow the condition in our world to make us to turn away from God. That's what St. Paul is alluding to. We shouldn't allow it to turn us away from God. But more and more, draw us closer to Him. <clears throat> Draw us closer that we may find strength. That we may find strength. So today as we celebrate the 11th Sunday in ordinary time, we remind ourselves we are people of hope. Hello. Tim Sifu Yesu Christu. We are people of we are people of hope. And the Lord Jesus says 
do not be afraid, for I am with you. Like we have just said, he has claimed us as his people. You are my people, I am your God. You are my people, close to my heart. May we continue to receive grace and strength in good times and in bad. In Jesus' name.